What's up guys, welcome back to SKG. Breck Williams here again. It's part two of our arrow building series, okay? Uh, in part one, we went over how to wrap your arrows. Pretty simple step. It takes about five seconds to do once you're ready. Once, I get, once you get done with that, over here I have a bits of burger fletching jig. Grandpa had one when I was growing up. Just what we've always used. There's a bunch of other companies you can buy. Expensive ones, non-expensive ones, it doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, fits your budget. Uh, once we have our arrow set up in there, we want to make sure that we clean it again, okay? So the, a the AAE Max Clean Wraps, do it again on top of your arrow wrap. Once it's dried, set it up and you're ready to go. So over here I'm fletching with, uh, I'm going to do a four fletch, and I have knock-on AAE Max fletchings. I have the AAE Max Weld Primer Pin, and again, the AAE Max Bond Super Glue. Uh, these are the adhesives and stuff I like to use. I've honestly had no problem with them sticking. Uh, it's just always been a good mix for me. So once you have that and you have that all ready, you want to come over here, Blaze. I have, I already have one fletch in here, okay? So if you see, I have a small marking on my Bitsen Burger here on the removable clamp, okay? I like to have mine about one and three-eighths inch from the throat of the knock. Once I have that marked so I can be consistent, I'll just slide my fletching in here and I'll make sure I'm lined up and everything's secure. Once I have it secure, I'll take my Maxwell primer pin, crack it open, and I'll simply just Add a little bit to the bottom of the entire fletch. Once that's ready, it dries in seconds. And I'll take that, I'll grab my super glue, and I'll add a little bit. A little bit goes a long way here. Um, you can have too much, so be wary of that. But I like to go with a dab at the beginning and just kind of spread it down and adding a little bit here and there as I go. Once I get down to the bottom, I'll just run through it one more time, spread it all out. Come over here to the jig. The clamp has magnets on the back of it, so I'm gonna grab the clamp, I'm going to move it down to the base and line it up, make sure it's attached to the magnets. From there, I'm just gonna slide it down and press it onto the arrow. I like to hold it for a couple seconds just to make sure it's a nice secure bond. Once it's there, I'll remove the clamp, flexing stays on, and I'll turn the clamp. Now we're ready for the next, next fletching. From there, I just repeat the process four times. So again, I'll come through here, make sure everything's lined up, add the primer pin, again, going through with the super glue. Felt like I added a little bit too much the first time, so a little bit less, and I'm just spreading it out right here. I'm not, I'm not pushing anything down, I'm not adding any more. Spread it out. Kind of clean up the sides a little bit on that one. Come down again, just repeat the process. Line everything up, it's on. Come down and press. Move it. Make sure everything's lined up. Those fletchings are kind of sticking on me right now. Again, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Once you get rolling, you can fletch a couple arrows in 10 minutes or so. coming off there a little bit for me. After you're with that, done with that, they're all on there. That one actually looks good, it stayed on. After that, you successfully flush your air and you're ready to shoot. Boom.